All right, I just got to my Vickrell Road site. And I like this because the internet, actually I better check that, but it was last time, the internet was very good. It has hard packed ground. There's no shade, but it's not that hot. So hopefully, and there's a breeze. So it should be able to keep it cool enough. So I'm just gonna set up now, that's my table. I'm gonna bring that out. I ended off my video last week just pulling up to this campsite that you're seeing now um, that I've just uh, showed you a few uh, sort of a pan around of where I was going to be camped for the next few nights trying to get some work done. This is me trying to set up my table. I just thought you might be interested in how it works for me with you know a little bit of poor balance trying to get this thing out and unfolded and uh, ready for camping. Anyways, I did get it set up, as you'll see, but uh, I never used it because I spent the next several, next day and a half uh, not being well. I sort of alluded to that in my last video as well, so um, coming up after this, I'm just going to talk a little bit about how that was. Not that you want to know, but I'm going to talk about it anyways, so <laughs> you can stop watching if you don't want to hear it. took a picture outside of myself. It's really hot here. I just um, took a picture and I looked at myself and I look really tired. So it's too hot outside because I didn't park my van right and I can't get any shade anywhere behind it. So I'm inside. I have the two side doors open. I'm getting a good cross breeze. It's not too hot, but I'm burnt too so anyways I think I am just wiped out from so much uh, doing so much for the last three weeks it's been really fun and um, really great in so many ways but I'm tired so I think uh, huh, I'm just gonna rest this afternoon that's all I can do anyways because it's too warm when it cools down tonight I'll try and get some work done well, it's been an interesting 36 hours. I'm here in the desert. I came out here because I wanted to get a bunch of work done. I just needed to be alone. I'd been around people, which I really enjoyed, but I just, I needed to be alone. And, uh, and I just had so many things that I needed to get done. So I drove out to the desert, got parked, got a few things, a couple things done, not much that evening. I went to bed and I was so sick. I'm still not feeling great, but uh, I just, I've never been sick like that. Not for years. I don't get sick. Um, so yeah, it wasn't very pleasant and uh, anyways so that's been 36 hours of just lying around in my van trying to uh, <laughs> feel good but uh, that's been my last 36 hours um, not sure what else to say I'm now working on getting a video out for tomorrow so hopefully I'll have something ready um, hopefully I'll start feeling a lot better too, but anyways, that's my update. I just want to mention one thing about, um, when I was sick and that is that, uh, when you get sick and it's going to come out your mouth, not your butt, 
um, it's good to have something handy because uh, if I hadn't had something handy right beside my bed, um, not knowing that I was going to be sick, uh, it would have been a huge mess. So I'm just gonna, I'm just posting a picture here of the little thing that I use for my garbage um, that sit at the back of my van. I just use it uh, for my everyday garbage. And uh, it's called a kitchen compost bin, or if you just Google that, loads of them come up. I bought mine at Walmart, but you can get them on Amazon, you can get them at Rona, you can get them wherever. So uh, the thing that I liked about it, and it was a good thing that I had emptied it, otherwise I would have been in a lot of trouble when I was getting sick so many times overnight, but um, it has a lid on it. So you can open up the lid, do your business, close the lid so that you can't smell it until you're ready to you know, puke your guts out again. Anyways, that might be too much information in one way, but I just wanted to let you know that I think that's something I'm definitely going to keep in mind for future, that I need to be ready if I ever get sick again, uh, because I just don't want to, on top of being sick, have to also deal with cleanup. So just a little bit of information. I'm feeling good enough to have some tea. I even had a slice of bread. Just made my tea on my little single burner thing and there's my view in the background. Well, I'm leaving my desert campsite today. Didn't go exactly to plans, not even close. I got really sick the first night first time that's happened in my van and actually the first time that's happened to me in a long time because I don't really get sick. So that was an eye opener. I managed it. I made sure friends knew where I was and what was going on in case I got more sick but I recovered. I'm still not feeling great but I think I just need to get some food now and I don't have any good food in my van so I'm going to go to a drive through which is only marginally better than what I have in my van. So. I was near Maricopa all this time, and uh, so I'm going to head into Maricopa. I've got to get a video uploaded today, or two even, so that's where I'm at. Oh my gosh, I just recorded a whole thing about my Jackery but, uh, solar panel that I have not purchased yet. Couldn't find one at Harbor Freight that I wanted found some online at Costco that were um, Jackery, but they came in sets with batteries and I don't want, I just want a solar panel or two. So that didn't work out and I want to not rush into it. I might have to wait until I go through San Francisco and stop at Jackery and see if I can pick one up or trade this one in or something. And the other thing is, is the update is that I haven't tried my shower yet. I had planned to do that while I was staying here, but because I was sick, that didn't work out. I just didn't have the energy to haul the water around and eat it and try and figure everything out. So first time thing, I just didn't want to do it. I'm not sure it is going to work. It just seems like every time I go to do it, it's such an effort. So anyways, that's it for now. My friends had told me about a place called Tortilla Flats, so that's where I headed to next. Here's some hopefully nice shots for you to look at of the area. I know the chain link fence might make it a little bit difficult, but I am in the desert. And those are all skis. I don't know if there's a ski hill near here, but seems odd. It's hot. We've had a lot of rain as you can tell from the skies. It's so green in the desert. The drive on the way up to Tortilla Flats is really beautiful. 
but it's also very windy and a real slow drive but uh, I didn't mind um, being able to slow down like that I was able to look over the edge and see the scenery it just kept changing it was really really pretty sorry that I'm not I'm focusing on driving so I couldn't keep turning the camera to show you what was off to the side hopefully you get a good gist of it from just watching this I sped up the video a little bit. I hope you don't get car sick. Um, enjoy. Of rain the night before and the river was going over the road. Um, I think it was just a wash where normally it's dry but when it rains it goes right over the road. And this was the end of the road for me. This is where I turned around because there was a little strip mall behind me. Sorry I should have got some pictures of that but I didn't. Anyways that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next week. Thanks for watching.